Yo, E-Dirt, Hollywood Hills down here in Cape Town on site. And we just wrapped up shop here at the third round of the Liquorland National Enduro Championships in Robertson. When we walked the track yesterday, we could see that the guys from CSMX had laid out an absolute perla, a real wide open, fast flowing enduro track. Then you go into the mountains on the other side. And that was all about the white rocks, a very, very deep gully, and it was all about tech, but a short one as well, only 1.3. So we knew already the times were gonna be tight. Then back down into the valley for the cross test, dragging the bars. We could see already that the times were gonna be extremely close, and they were just that. Incredible racing out front with Wade Young walking away with the win, but he was pushed extremely close the whole way by Travis Teasdale. Altus, he was a shining star as well. He came across the line in third wheel, and he put a chunk of points on the table. Kenny Gilbert, also remember, he's running in the E1s, but he won out in the 450 challenge because he was right up there. He ran a top five overall, and big Kenny on the big 450. He said it was a risk, but it paid off. He's happy with the big dog. In the high school category, the kids come good. Matty Green has been pushing on super hard, managed to get the advantage going onto the final lap by 12 seconds and extend the advantage over Stefan van Deventer. So that's a big first national win on the 2017 tour from Matty Green. And it's been a long time coming as well. He's been going up against Stefan van Deventer, the man who's now signed with Proudly Bitvis Yamaha since their 65 little wheel days. So that's a huge story that we will keep an eye on and see if there's gonna be any comeback from the guy on the Yamaha. But right now, Matty Green, big high five from us here at Hollywood Hills. The rest of the categories, a huge story. A rough ride at the beginning of the season for Dwayne O'Claimers. And the man came good because at Wild West, burnt his clutch out whilst he was leading not just the category, but the overall event at the previous round. Fried the clutch, cooked the bike, that was that. He really had to pick himself up. He tripped over his lip for a while and with uh, good reason as well. You know, no one wants to lose a, a race by a mechanical like that. Turned it around, the team came good. They've given a really strong machine and the man on the KTM who showed incredible form last year is starting to find that form once again. A track that suited his aggressive, very moto style and the man walked away with the big win in the E2s. So that's massive for him. Flanny, the man who has been on the bubble and absolutely flying at the beginning of the season for the national off-roads and the national enduros, he was good enough to make it onto the box as well. So a nice even spread of the big key players. You've got the Husqvarna's, the KTM's, the Yamaha's, everyone up there pushing on. It's not just all about the KTM's and the Yamaha's. Now there's the four key players that will be watching the whole way through the season. Husky are starting to really get up there and push for championships. KTM, Yamaha, everyone else is gonna be on the fly. It's a very, very interesting championship. That's gonna wrap things up. Oh, before I do that, Brian Kappa walked away with a big win in the seniors and then in the masters, a very, very close win, but Hilton Haywood beat out Wild Willy by an agonizing three seconds at the end of racing. Let's wrap up today though. This was a huge one. And uh, for the rest of the season, we're just gonna be watching the championship get even better. We go down the coast in about a month and a half or so, down to Port Elizabeth in the Rover Club. It's gonna be all about the sand. We look forward to that. Right now, we're gonna be wrapping up on Hollywood Hills next week. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a chill, a little bit of a break. We're probably gonna start looking at some of the Meet the Riders, and I'm gonna go down the road and check in with our sponsors. Remember, Rad, Vans Racing, QCon, BaseFit, everyone is in the mix there, helping us put together Hollywood Hills and keeping it up and running. From Robertson in Cape Town, Hollywood, signing off. We'll see you guys out there on the trails.